Hey guys, the Hockey Card Whisperer is back. It is Thursday, and I've already opened up the box, but FedEx has finally, finally fucking showed up with my package. Again, I understand the COVID vaccine has got to be delivered. I understand that there's delays because it's the fucking holiday season. But what I don't understand is how you charge people 120 fucking dollars to give them overnight service and then take eight fucking days to send the package right? That is fucking horseshit. Anyways, doesn't matter. We're going to crack that open in a second. But before we do, I have to, I got to take a quick second here, like, um, and touch on the new controversy in, uh, in um, politically correctness, the uh, Vancouver Canucks logo with the orca on the, uh, on the sea. Um, Honest to God, people, if your fucking biggest concern in life is a logo on a sports jersey that might be offensive to you, then you are straight. You can't be fucking helped. Like, you can't be helped. Usually these people are the fucking people sitting at home all day eating bonbons, watching the fucking Price is Right, Days of Our Lives, Ellen, fucking Judge Judy, these fucking lunatics, right? Sit at home. See a logo on there. First of all, how is a fucking orca whale offensive to the native people? Explain that to me. By the way, Métis Indian. Uh, 139 generations back, but Métis Indian. To this day, nothing offends me. Nothing. Nothing offends me. I, I, you know what? You know what offends me? Stupid fucking people. That's what offends me. If you're a fucking person that actually sits back and conjures up this orca. By the way, it was a white guy that did this. There's a white guy who fucking says that it's offensive. Don't you need to be of the ethnic background that the offense is taking a place against to be the one who makes the claim that it could be offensive to you? Not a white guy who works, you know, down at the mill? Fuck that guy. Do, do yourself a favor. I, I've said this from day one. If you want to enjoy your life, please mind your own fucking business. Attend to the shit that you deal with on your day-to-day -day in your surrounding, in your network, in your fucking circle of, you know, circle of happiness. Deal with that shit. Anything else that doesn't involve you, doesn't affect you, shut the fuck up. Period. Number two. Guys, I do this for fun. I post a lot of shit on my page. If you're in my group and you see something posted, like Mantle Rookies or Or Rookies, and feel the need to say to me, I'm not impressed until they're graded. Really? That's, that's what you're coming with? And then I post them graded, and then fucking crickets? That, not my world, dude. G guys are not my world. If you're that guy or you're those guys, take a fucking wander right out of my fucking room and go somewhere else. Because that is not what we're about, okay? We don't post fake shit in our room. We don't post things. I never said it was mine. I put it up there. It's a buddy's who sold this collection a while ago, who got ridiculous amounts of money, who probably could get more now. But I thought it would be an interesting little fucking picture or two to show the boys, to show them what is out there. And then, of course, the fucking, you know, the, the I'm not fucking going to be impressed until you show it to me graded. Honest to God, my day should revolve around a bottle of fucking Advil and fucking a 12-pack of beer attached to me at all times so I can just fucking rid the nonsense, right? So, okay, fuck that. There we go. That's that. Now, let's get to the fucking, let's get to this at hand. Now, what happened, Beckett? Um, fuck, that's going to fall over. Hang on. I really need to get a stand here. All right. There we go. So what happened, Beckett? We couldn't uh, fucking put it in a box. So we put it in like a fucking key of fucking cocaine here. What, what, what are we doing? Fucking eight days to fucking send here. You're fucking out of your heads. Uh, hi, like overnight service? Oh, sure, sir. That'll be $120. Outstanding. Oh, my God. Stay the fuck up. That'll be outstanding. $20. Sir, here you go. Take that. Up. There you go. Hey, how you doing? Been six days. It's Mike. You know where packages? Oh, sorry, sir. Due to delay. Due to delay. Oh, good. Another package inside the other package. Outstanding. 
And I get fucking put that right there. There we go. Another package inside the other package. Thanks, Beckett. Nothing like opening a Christmas present from Uncle fucking Bill. You know that uncle, right? Who packages everything in like a glue, glue package so you can spend four hours opening up his dog shit pair of slippers. You know that guy, right? It's been all week packing it. <laughs> fucking hate that guy too. Oh, there we go. Up. Oh, still going. Actually, I think I know why they did this because I did the tall boy. Although they could have packaged that into something else. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, don't even get me fucking started. Let's start with this, the Nathan McKinnon. Um, oh, fuck. There they are. You get old, you need fucking glasses, eh? Let me get this fucking hockey whisperer. Centering 9.5. Edges 9.5. Corners 9.5. Surface, 7.5 for an 8.5 grade. Um, just so you know, Beckett, I had 120 young guns that were all between the $40 and $200 range. This is the only card I sent in to be graded after I inspected it with fucking a microscope. There ain't a mark on here unless you fuckers did it, okay? This will be cracked right open, and I'm going to throw this horse shit case right in the fucking trash. 8.5. All right, what else we got here? Now, I sent this one in knowing it was coming. I thought it would come back a one. Now, here's how fucked up they are. Can you explain to me? You now, it's a Series 2 checklist, right? It's not graded. But how is that a 1.5? How did I get an extra 0.5 on there? Like, it is literally fucking OJ Simpson sliced everywhere. Look at the back. That's a 1.5. 1.5. Okay, here we go. All right, this was the cross grade. Remember I cross graded the KSA 4? It came back a Becca 2.5, which is exactly where I thought it would come back. 2.5 on that Gretzky right there. So according to everybody in Quebec, that should be worth $63,000. Uh, here's a buddy's Gretzky that I sent in for him. He got back a 3.5. A pretty good grade on that. Actually, probably could have got back a 4. Oh, no, there's a little ripple in there. Okay, I can see why. That got a 3.5 with a ripple, which you can see sort of right there. Mine came back a 3.5 with, with not even a half a mark on it. Oh, we're going we're gonna to save that one for the end. And then we've got another Gretzky from my bud. This one actually came back a little bit better for him. So he got a 4.5 on that one. So that's a good grade. I think... Yeah, that 3.5 is a 3.5 is a um, blue line, and uh, this one is just a, a regular. So pretty good, pretty good. And now for the biggie. This is where I can't get mad at them, right? Although I probably can. Wow, I'm so impressed with this card. So there is the Bobby Orr, graded six and slabbed, X mint. I honestly think that. I could have maybe could have got a, a 0.5 higher. The corners would not allow it to be a seven, but um, yeah, not bad. So there it is. Been waiting for that bad boy for overnight for eight days. So yeah, I get it. Save your fucking sob stories about the COVID vaccine and fucking Christmas. I get it. I understand why this shit's slow. But don't charge me 120 fucking dollars when you know goddamn well it ain't going to be here fucking overnight. Even three days is acceptable. So anyway, so there you go. Um, heading out right away. Got all the other stuff back to the storage unit. Uh, we've got three over there. So pretty happy to get all that stuff back there on well, the days that I was home. And uh, going to head out. Got a couple fucking monsters to go look at. I'll be updating from the road. We'll get back on the road now. So we'll start getting some, uh, we'll start getting some great, uh, great... Uh, video you know of the deals again i'm not showing i'm not doing video of the deal in the house people don't want their privacy done plus covid everybody fucking loses their mind although in regina and saskatchewan there's no lockdown right now so i'll be hammering beers tonight somewhere and um shopping so uh there it is bobby Orr's in gretzky's are in fucking the nathan mckinnon dog shit fucking grade can get fucked and so can fedex fuck fedex cheers